Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be walking you through the S Pen features, otherwise known as Air Commands. So for Air Commands, you're going to push the only button on the S Pen as soon as you're above the screen and tap it. This brings up a right click kind of feature on a computer and allows you to do multiple things. First one's going to be Action Memo. Action Memo is pretty nice uh, simply because it's a pop-up note that's a lot more useful than on the uh, Note 2. So say you wanted to write down a name and number. Let's make that a little nicer Y. And once we write down that number before, we would have a issue. And that was that once we would have this number down, it was pretty much a post-it note. However, on the Note 3, what they've done is something called Link to Action. What this does is it translates this into a much more useful feature. First being that you can actually translate this to call this person, to save this as a contact, to text this person, and if I had an email, to email this person. Now, three other things that are useful is if you want to write down a topic, you can actually search for it by browsing later on. You can write down an address and then navigate to it. Or you can have a task list such as a grocery list or things to do at work today and save it in your task under your calendar. So I'm going to save it as a contact and see how well it translates. And as we can see, it translated fairly well. Another thing you can always do is actually write to text very easily. And so you can see it does do a fairly good job of writing to text. And we're just going to cancel that. Now as you can see it also minimizes when you want to. So you can move this around, keep it around for a later purpose. Just as a reminder, say if you know you need to get to it, you can keep it there. You can also change its color to categorize it, maybe for ones for work, ones for ones for personal use, whatever you would want. Now for our second function, we have scrapbook. Now scrapbook is usually when you're browsing online. Say earlier I tried to call Time Warner's customer service, which wasn't that good. Uh, but nonetheless, we want to hit this button and put this in our scrapbook. And so you highlight the section that is that you want to put in a scrapbook. You can obviously highlight the whole page if you would like, but for this purpose, we just want this section. Now this will save the link, save your information that you highlighted, and all the information that goes along with it. So I'm gonna just check this off, and then we can find it in, you guessed it, scrapbook. So in the scrapbook app, I now have this available, and you can see this is the image, this is the number, and this is a search all very easily. And I could share this with someone if I would like as well. Now the next one is going to be the old fashioned screen capture. This one's called screen write. Because if you wanted to scrap if you wanted to capture this way, what it'll go to is allow you to immediately write on the screen. So say if you wanted to say, you know, point out this, you know, great camera in very poor writing, you can fairly easily. Um, you can also erase fairly quickly, as you can see. And you can also change up your ink, colors you're using, the styles. It's all very customizable, which I do like a lot and appreciate. You can even crop just a specific section if you would like. And uh, do lots of easy things uh, to make this fairly a very customizable experience. You can also share right here with anyone you'd like. And there you would have it. Now we also have something called S-Finder. S-Finder is a way to search your phone for everything you have as well as your uh, browser and anything else in between. Now, this uh, one thing I do like about this is you can narrow it down. So past 30 days, past seven days, yesterday, the day, next seven days, we can even predict the future a little bit. Uh, that would mainly be like a schedule. If you have something that you know is going to happen in the next seven days, you can put it in there. 
uh, handwriting notes, communication, help, images, music, videos, and personal information. So these are all the different categories uh, you can search. In your menu, you can also decide which apps that it does search and which ones it doesn't. So that's very useful as well. So uh, let's type, let's write, um, let's say the iPhone, because that's been a lot in the news lately. And I'm not sure if I've written anything about it, but we'll see. And so you see, it's going to search my gallery for it. Uh, a couple of messages, obviously. Uh, can't really show those, of course and uh, videos, and of course, Chrome Online, and S Planner, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, return the iPhone 5. Oh, this was last year when we returned the iPhone 5. Uh, so yeah, lots of fun stuff with that. Um, <laughs> wow, that was from last year. Um, so yeah, lots of fun stuff that you can search for uh, with your device. And finally, the last one, which is called pen window. Pen window is a fairly simple thing where you create a little window. And with this window, you can actually have apps on top of whatever else you're doing. So say if I wanted to call someone, but you know, I don't want to call them right now. I'll wait till, you know, 11, 12. I can move this around anywhere I want and I can go on playing some Candy Crush. And while I'm playing the Candy Crush, I decide, you know what, I made them wait long enough, I'm gonna call them. So, while I'm playing it, I can interact with both of these and call them if I want. And you can see this was still loading, even though it's a silent when I tap here, just for the audio purposes, it's still moving even without me doing anything. So, it's nice for that purpose. I probably should check all, send my friends some stuff. And uh, you can see, even again, without this, it's still loading. So just a nice feature to have um, for all of your multitasking purposes. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.